Wouldn't it be beautiful if everyone on earth is healthy? Not one will need medicine or any kind of medical therapy. No one will need nutrients because everyone is healthy. Picture everyone healthy. That would be an unbelievable sight, wouldn't it? <laughs> well, yeah. Wouldn't it, what would it benefit you and your family for being healthy? Are there any benefits of you being healthy and your family being healthy? Unfortunately, there are many organizations out there that do not want you healthy. They do not want you healthy. They? They who? Who are they that do not want you, me, and your family healthy? All of that on this video I am going to cover and more. Uh, they don't want you healthy. They? They who? <laughs> I'm Andres from the Bronx, the unhealthiest county in the state of New York, and I believe that was done on purpose based on the terrible foods sold in our markets. I am the one who has not gotten sick in three years because I found out how to get rid of my illnesses and how to remain healthy. I would greatly encourage every one of you, including my enemies who hate my guts, Yes, I have enemies like the rest of you. I encourage all of you to get rid of your diseases before a major disaster happens. I want you to picture this. Picture this. Picture an economic collapse and no more health insurance. Okay? They're all be gone. No medicine whatsoever. They will all be gone. Okay? How about nutritional supplements? They will all be gone in an economic collapse. Wouldn't that be a good way of depopulating the world? Hmm? Reducing the population, causing an economic collapse, and bang! No more chemotherapy, kidney dialysis, gone. No more insulin, gone. No more asthma medications, gone, and then you're gone. <laughs> then you go if you don't have your medications that are keeping that is keeping you alive. <laughs> you see, I'm ready and prepared for the big one. The big one is coming, but we don't know when it's coming. It's always good to be prepared, right? It can happen anytime. How am I preparing for the financial collapse or a major recession that could be right around the corner. How am I doing this? Well, first, I got rid of all of my illnesses, and I'm ready now for the disaster that is coming. I will be able to work on certain jobs that will be available during the economic disaster. Not all jobs are going to disappear. Not all of them. Okay, During the financial collapse, there will still be some jobs. I don't have time to go over those jobs uh, that's another another time for another video, uh, but the big one is coming. Anyway, get rid of your diseases. That should be your first priority, and then do the rest. You know, uh, start packing up food that's non-perishable, non-perishable foods, uh, and quite a few other things. Again, I will I will probably do a video on how to prepare for the economic collapse that's on its way. I read a lot of books uh, on how to prepare for martial law. That's also coming to martial law. Books on preparing for the Y2K. Remember the Y2K? Remember that? Y2K? <laughs> Nothing happened, huh? Oh, but the real Y2K may be coming. You better prepare for it. <laughs> Those books, they tell you to store perishable, non, excuse me, Non-perishable foods, uh, like water, etc., etc. That's nice. That's nice. That's a good thing. But none of those books ever mentioned that that one big thing that you need to do in preparation for an economic collapse, and that is getting rid of your diseases. They ain't gonna tell you that because they don't know how. That's the problem. <laughs> They'll tell you to store medicine, drugs. Uh, but what if there's a major power outage for months? Suppose there's a power outage for months, 
and your medication requires refrigeration. You're screwed big time. You're, you will be screwed big time. During a disaster, if you're sick, you ain't getting a job. You're not getting a job. They're only going to hire the healthy people uh, and the strong people. Unfortunately, you have so many ailments, you got so many sicknesses, they ain't going to hire you. You're sick. Bye-bye. Okay? Get rid of your sickness, your diseases, your sicknesses. Get rid of them all. That's the first thing you should do. Anyway, now for this video. They don't want you healthy. Who the heck are they? You mean to tell me, Andre, that there are several uh, certain people that don't want me healthy? Yes, there are organizations, many of them, that do not want you healthy. By the end of this video, you will know who they are that do not want you healthy. And there are many of them that do not want you healthy. Plus, you will know the reason why. They don't want you healthy. Let me move up my outline here because I want to make sure I cover all my topics here. What will benefit you to be healthy? Let me rephrase that. Sorry. Let me let me rephrase that. What are the benefits of being fully healthy without any ailments? Some of you may say you're going to feel great. No suffering. I'm going to feel great. True, true. Uh, I feel great. I feel, I feel wonderful. Three years without any ailments, no headaches, no digestive disorders, no respiratory problem, no arthritic pain, or shall I say, no joint pains whatsoever. Ow, that hurts. Only kidding. <laughs> no more wheezing uh, and breathing heavy when I walk down the street. Uh, or, you know, taking an inhaler shot every time when I used to walk. Uh, down the street, um, I will get tight, and I will have to get an, uh, take a shot of the inhaler. No more breathing heavy when riding a bicycle or having sex. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> it's wonderful when you're not dependent on medication. Plus, you'll live longer. You know, the telomeres of your chromosomes will be healthy, and that's one of the reasons why I haven't gotten sick in three consecutive years. That's the little secret I learned how to keep my chromosome healthy. It's a little secret I learned. It's no secret. Just watch my video, uh, Bronx Citizen Cures His 14 Diseases. There are 12 foods that I've been preaching for about three years that everybody has to get rid of. There are 12 foods that you will get sick if you keep eating them and it's causing damages to your body body, your organ, it's causing damage to your organs, your bladder, your blood cell, your chromosomes, you name it, your entire body, especially your digestive system. The damage doesn't happen very quickly. It doesn't happen just like that, okay? After a period, uh, a period of time, your body uh, starts to warn you that something is going on. You know, a little pain over here, on your hips maybe, and then it, it spreads to your hands. Ouch, ouch, it hurts, it hurts. Uh, that's what was happening to me. It started to spread all over. Then there's a sugar problem. Now you have a sugar problem. There are some chemicals in your food that actually can cause sugar problem. You're, you're not metabolizing sugar properly. Could be those chemicals in the food that you're eating. Could be. It could be possible. Then here comes the lack of energy because you're not getting, you're not metabolizing sugar properly. The sugar is not going inside the cell the way it's supposed to. And then here comes diabetes. Then you ask yourself, why am I getting sick? Why am I getting sick? What's happening? How come my how come my little wee wee is not getting an erection? <laughs> I know. I've been there. <laughs> I know. I've been there. What about your family? What about your family? How does that benefit uh, you if your entire family is healthy? Okay. Is there any benefits of your entire family being healthy? Yeah. Well. 
you don't have to take a day off from work to run to the hospital with your children and your loved one uh, they're healthy you don't have to run to the hospital with them okay you don't need to take a vacation time or a sick time to take your kid to the hospital what if you don't have the sick time huh what, what if you don't have the vacation time you're gonna get docked on your pay now you're gonna lose money okay you're not getting you're not getting a full paycheck plus you may have to pay out of pocket for medicine that your insurance company didn't fully cover or may not cover at all period Oof. more money to dish out out of your pocket when your family is sick and when you're sick it could be expensive when your family is sick and you could be expensive what about paying for nursing homes that's one nursing homes hospital bills okay by the way do you know the number one reason why americans file for bankruptcy medical bills medical bills they start using their credit cards for medication that that um that the insurance couldn't pay or couldn't cover they start using all those credit cards also the leading cause of death do you know what it is the leading cause of death in america i think it's the world not america but i think the leading cause of death in the entire world is md directed medicine mm -hmm. okay you got to keep your family healthy including your pets don't forget your pets your pets got to be healthy too keep your family and pets healthy it is expensive to be sick as you can see uh it benefits you greatly and your family as well stay healthy now now that we saw your benefits in being healthy what about the pharmaceutical companies you know the companies that make drugs medical drugs uh, you know the drugs that manages your diseases and not cure them uh, would it be beneficial for pharmaceutical companies as if, if everyone was healthy in the planet? Excuse me. The thing keep buzzing and I'm tired. Sorry, that's my files uh, modulator. What would it be? Wouldn't it be beneficial? Uh, what would it be? Excuse me. Lost my train of thought. <laughs> what would benefit the pharmaceutical companies if everyone was healthy? Okay, you wouldn't have to spend any money on their drugs. Does that benefit the pharmaceutical company? Okay, what would happen to pharmaceutical company if everyone stopped having headaches? They don't get headaches anymore, so they don't have to buy aspirin uh, or some kind of pain reliever. What would happen if your blood sugar disorder, you know, uh, diabetes, you don't have diabetes anymore, you got a healthy blood sugar level? or no one has cancer anymore, right? Pharmaceutical companies would have to shut down operations. No more profits. Investors and lobbyists, stockholders will no longer be making any money. Here is a wake up call for most of you. Diseases and illnesses is a major profitable business, just like any business. Big Pharma makes money on your illnesses and diseases the only way they make money if you remain sick you have to remain sick in order for them to make money if you become healthy the cash flow stops for them it's a big business hence big pharma <laughs> it's a big business not only does big pharma lobbyists investors will lose money if you're healthy but employees of these companies will be out of a job too the workers will be on the uh, on the unemployment line including scientists we don't need scientists everyone is healthy <laughs> how many people do you think will be unemployed if the pharmaceutical company goes out of business millions okay just the pharmaceutical companies alone millions will be out of work here's a question for you here's a question okay if you own stock or you own the pharmaceutical company that produces uh, insulin for diabetes uh, diabetics 
Would you as an owner be looking forward to a cure for diabetes? Maybe you have a loving heart. Maybe you have a loving and caring heart for mankind and don't care about uh, money. You don't care about money and you want everyone free from diabetes and free from all the diseases. And you're using all that money that you're making for research, researching a cure. You have a loving heart. Maybe you really love mankind and you will use all those billions that you made for researching cures. I don't know your heart. God knows the hearts of man. God knows what's in your heart. So all of these pharmaceutical companies will go bye-bye if you and your family uh, are healthy. You're not going to make any money. What other companies uh, will go out of business if you're healthy and everybody on earth is healthy? Charitable organizations. Ooh, there are so many charities out there. The American Cancer Association, the Pancreatic Cancer of Planet Mars, the Boob Cancer Association, that's the Breast Cancer Association, and there are thousands of them all over the place. The Diabetes Foundation of whatever the heck. There are so many of them. Incidentally, most of these uh, charities were created by Big Pharma. Big Pharma created most of these charities. And there's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with that. Most of them are tax deductible. That's nice, right? You can claim your donated funds uh, in your taxes. It's tax deductible. However, are they using your donated funds for researching cures? Maybe they are. Okay. What is? But my thing is, uh, what is the status of the progress? How close are we from a cure for breast cancer? Okay, or diabetes. How close are we? What's the progress? What's going on? They're not telling us, you know, where they're at with these with this cure. Are they really working diligently for a cure? You know, these are the questions that pop in my head when I lay on my bed here in this fortress of solitude. <laughs> my bed is over there on my left, probably your right depending how the camera angle is. But this is what I do. I sit here, I lay here, I'm right on my bed, and I start thinking these questions, you know. Here's another question. Why didn't my oncologist tell me that by increasing my ORAC value, it can make my antioxidants and my immune system stronger so it can fight uh, diseases, especially free radicals that cause my cancer? Why didn't he tell me about how to increase my ORAC score or my, my ORAC value score. A high and strong antioxidant can help fight cancer and prevent hundreds of diseases. How come he didn't tell me about the trace mineral selenium, which is dr drastically, that, that mineral drastically helped me with many of my illnesses. Perhaps he was absent. <laughs> Perhaps he was absent and when the professor covered it in class. Or he knew about it. He knew about the mineral. And, and that doesn't make any, he doesn't make any money on selenium. Okay. He makes money on the sale of chemotherapy. Okay. That's where he makes his money. He wanted to make money from the sale of chemo, which, by the way, it's 95% ineffective. And uh, it has so much side effects. I know a lot of people that were on chemo. 95% ineffective. Look it up. Perhaps he didn't care about the crazy side effects that it would give me because he wanted to make that moolah. Right? Maybe he wanted to make some money. Money, 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 money. Some people got to have it. Oh. All right, I'll stop singing. Anyway, <laughs> let's continue. Okay, charitable organization will all go bye-bye if you're healthy. Okay, kiss those donations goodbye. They ain't going to get any more donations. <laughs> also, don't forget, the employees will all be out of work too. More unemployment if you're healthy. 
Okay, my God in heaven, <laughs> it will be disastrous if everyone becomes healthy. In fact, I think healthiness should be against the law. Don't you think? If you're healthy, you should be put in prison. If you are healthy and for being healthy, you can get 20 years for that. <laughs> this planet, I, it wouldn't surprise me if, if they were put that in, in the uh, law books, right? This planet is so insane that it wouldn't surprise me if an idiotic law like that ended up in the books. I mean, this planet is nuts. I'm talking nuts. Just go on the internet. Holy crap. You know, you people are nuts, man. And then you people are not studying. You guys are busy fighting back and forth. Star Wars this, and Captain Marvel did So Donald Trump this, and Donald Trump that. And you're getting sicker and sicker and sicker. I guess they want you to pay attention to that and not your health. You've got to wake up, folks. Anyway, what about other companies that will go out of business in the medical industry? What about other companies in the medical industry if everyone was healthy? What are the, what are the organizations? Hmm. Hospitals, nursing homes, clinics, and many other medical professions will all go out gone. We don't need them. Everyone is healthy, not to mention more unemployment. Doctors, nurses, medical uh, technicians, emergency medical uh, technicians, paramedics, you name it. Well, you know, I don't think all hospitals should close down. Uh, we need some of them, you know, in the event of a trauma case. You know, you fracture a leg, uh, an arm, or you get shot or stabbed, we would need some hospitals. Okay, not all of them should go out of business, but we don't need all of them. We don't need all these hospitals. Everybody's, everybody's healthy. Let me tell you, man, hospital bills are insane, insanely high. When I was hospitalized for 10 years, not for 10 years, hello, I wasn't hospitalized for 10 years. When I was hospitalized 10 years ago for a serious asthma attack, uh, thank you, Jesus, for manganese, omega-3, omega-6, and omega-9. Thank you, Lord. Those were the four of the 90 nutrients that helped me uh, reverse my 45-year-old asthma. Holy cow. Man, the bill for... Like, uh, I think I stood in the hospital for seven days. It was a seven-day um, hospitalization. The bill was over $20,000 for like seven days, okay? The room, the procedures, the medications that were administered to me. I could have stayed in the presidential suite at the Trump, uh, Trump Tower. Uh, it would have been cheaper if I would have stayed there. They should have moved me to the Trump Tower. Hey! I'm going to save the insurance company a lot of money if you just move me to the Trump Tower, okay? <laughs> Holy cow. I, when I saw that bill, I'm like, my God, insurance are paying for this? Are insurance paying for all of That's just one person. Now, there's a lot of you that are sick. The insurance companies, man, I'm surprised they haven't gone bankrupt. And I see it coming. Boy, do I see it coming. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, there's more. There was a separate bill for the ambulance ride. I didn't know they charged for that too. <laughs> the ambulance ride. Okay, that was like seven hundred dollars. An additional seven hundred dollars on top of that. Okay. And then a, a, an additional two hundred, I think it was two hundred or three hundred dollars for procedures done to me in the ambulance. Whoa, man. Holy cow. I go, I'm in the wrong business. <laughs> I should stop doing videos and get into this. That's a lot of money. <laughs> Health insurance are paying for this? Wow, man. Health insurance, I see a big, big bankruptcy coming from, from health insurance. I got a feeling one of these days the health insurance are going to say, we ain't paying for this, we're not going to cover this, and we're not going to cover this. And you're screwed. You better get rid of your diseases quickly. I'm talking fast. Don't wait till tomorrow. Start now. Get rid of these 12 foods that you're eating. Look, I'm not here to uh, scare the crap out of you. 
It's like the Lord Jesus Christ said, I'm telling you this, not to frighten you, I'm not here to, but to prepare you, okay? Men's hearts will faint on the last days. You stay alert and be ready for when it happens. Obviously, I'm paraphrasing, and that's not the way the Lord said it. All right. What other organizations uh, will go bankrupt if everyone is healthy? Okay, If everyone is healthy, are there any other organizations that will go bankrupt? Medical colleges and universities. Do, do we need students studying allopathic uh, medicine um, if everybody is healthy? No, we don't need them. Everybody's healthy. Well, again... Again, well, <laughs> we're going to need some medical schools to teach certain medical procedures, you know, that may be needed. Again, I mentioned fractures, stab wounds, gunshot, you know, any trauma, any trauma case. We're going to need a few medical schools, okay, but we're not going to need a whole bunch of them because everybody's healthy. Everybody's healthy. I'm going to close with this. I don't want to make this video too too long. I think you guys get the point, right? I think you know who they are. <laughs> being healthy can be dangerous to society. And being sick as well, too, can be dangerous as well. You're going to cause bankrupt, a bankruptcy. <laughs> People are going to be out of work if you're, if you're healthy. Whether you're sick or healthy, it has a major impact on our society, economically speaking, of course. Uh, this is a major mess. This is a mess. America is in a major mess. Many can't see it. A few see it, but many don't see it. If everyone is healthy, it's a problem. If everyone is sick, it's also a problem. But you know, I said to myself, I want my suffering to stop. Excuse me. <clears throat> Ooh, sorry about that. I wanted my suffering to stop. I wanted to get off all these medications that was making me miserable with all these side effects. Who cares if me and my family will be putting millions of people out of work? Yeah, you know, I do care, but hey, I'm the one that's suffering here. I need to stop suffering, okay? Whether it's a moral thing, okay, but I made my choice. I got to get healthy, okay? Who cares if Big Pharma is going to shut down and, and cause an unemployment? Again, I do care. And then the other side of me says, it's my body. It's my health. It's my choice. My family needs me healthy. If the economy collapses or whatever, who's going to go to work on these big jobs something that's very strenuous, somebody would need to provide for my family. That would be me, okay? I'm not thinking about you guys in a, in a sense. I'm not thinking about you guys. i got to think about my family and provide for my family. I need that job. I'm going to be in the competition with you. Most of you are all sick, so you're not competition. They're going to hire me. So you need to get healthy if you want that job during the economic collapse. Do you get my drift? That's why you need to get healthy. You know, please. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, you need to get healthy. Um, will you be one of those in the Bible where the Lord said men's heart will faint during the last days? You will be... Will you be one of those that will faint when there's no more insulin, no more asthma medication, no more chemotherapy, or any medication that you depend on for survival? In other words, are you going to freak out when a disaster comes your way? Get rid of your diseases. So you got to do. Get rid of your diseases. One more thing um, I need to address. I love my country. I love that I can choose my own brand of coffee, whether it's Maxwell House or Bustelo. I love that. I love that I can choose any mobile phone provider, any mobile service 
a phone provider. I love that. I could choose AT&T, I could choose T-Mobile, I could choose Boost. I can choose whatever I want. I love that. I love that I have the freedom to choose any religion I want. I love that I can practice any religion. I love that I have the freedom to choose my own type of medicine, whether it's allopathic medicine, naturopathic medicine, Ayurvedic, Chinese medicine. I love that. I love that, that I have that choice. Even though I do not have the option to choose the type of medicine my insurance company should pay, you know, that the company, the insurance company that should pay for me. And that's because we don't have a free medical market. Uh, a free medical market is what is needed here. You know, why should I pay for allopathic medicine if I'm not really using that? I'm using naturopathic medicine. It's a monopoly, folks. That's what it is. It's a monopoly. We don't have a free medical market, and it's unfortunate. What I hate, what I hate is when a government tells me to do something against my will, against my religion, against my moral code. You must take these vaccination and your children as well, and your religion is null and void. Regardless of your religion, your children must get these vaccinations. In fact, we, the government, will make that decision for your children without your consent. If you don't follow the law, we, the government, will deprive your children and you from getting an education. Your kids cannot attend public school. Is this America, the Republic, or the former communist Russia? Is this a government by the people and for the people, or a government for the corporations who are both getting out of control. This is getting out of control. Let me tell you, and I said this before on another video, I said this before, when you force the citizens of a country, of a country, be it America, be it Europe, whatever, when you force the citizens to do something against their will, against their religion, you are looking for a major rebellion. Big Pharma and the government are going to start a civil war in this country. What did the Bible say during the last days? Kingdom against kingdoms. Kingdom against itself. Translation. Pro-vaxxers versus anti-vaxxers. Vegans versus carnivores. The woke versus the anti-woke. The left versus the right. Star Wars fans versus Star Trek fans. We are at a point, ladies and gentlemen, if you address someone by the incorrect gender, they go ballistic, like they want to kill you. You people laugh at those videos, right? It's not sir, it's ma'am. <laughs> you laugh at those videos. It's not going to be funny when you're in a civil war. It ain't going to be funny. That video now is not funny when you're in a when you're in a crisis, right? I see a civil war on social media. Right now it's a cold war. The water is getting heated. Soon it's going to start boiling. And bang, we're going to have a civil war. You know when America is getting bad, when Americans start saying, I got to leave my country, it's getting bad here. I am in danger. My kids are in danger. I'm going to have to renounce my American citizenship and give it up. We're not at that point yet. We're not there yet, but it's going to get there. It's soon going to get there. Is that their tactic to get people to leave this country? pass tyrannical laws that oppresses the citizen and getting Americans to do things against their will, okay? And if you don't leave America, don't make it tough for you to stay. We, the government, will punish you by depriving your children and your children's education. You're not going to have an education. Perhaps revoke your driver's license like Australia. Uh, take away your kids for being a bad parent by not vaccinating them, regardless of your religious belief. Wake up, America. Now comes the trillion-dollar question. 
do they want you healthy or are they keeping you and your family sick for a reason an unhealthy nation is a weak nation and it's vulnerable for an attack if you're sick you cannot defend yourself you're weak and they're gonna keep you that way I think you can identify now who they are.